Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you guys here today. Uh, <laughs> I've tried to record this video several times now, but with the newborn, it's almost impossible. Uh, I finally, you know, fed him, laid him down. It's out for a couple of hours at least before it's time to feed again. But uh, man, I'm telling you what, I'm enjoying uh, being a new dad, but it's still all new to me. Don't, uh, learn, I'm learning as I go. That's the only thing you can do. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, not this video isn't about that. It's not about any of that. Uh, let's talk about another soap, shall we? Uh, today's soap that we're going to take a look at is another Dr. Squatch soap. This is Deep Sea Goat's Milk, okay? Um, now, here's my thoughts on all things goat's milk. Goat's milk is one of these things that uh, uh, it seems to be like more or less, um, it's not as popular as, you know, just like your regular soap and that kind of stuff. However, I will say this. I've used, every time I use, uh, I got several uh, goat's milk lotions that I use, and I will say that they tend to make my skin feel a lot better than like your average lotion. So I'm actually kind of excited to see uh, what the deep sea goat's milk is going to do to my skin. Uh, however, I will, I'm, I'm pulling something else out to, to kind of compare to here in a minute. Should have done that earlier. But anyway, um, yeah, goat's milk, like... The goat's milk lotions that I use, it, it, they tend to last longer. My skin seems to be moisturized better. So I, I'm just, I, I can't wait to see, like when I actually use it, if it's like the lotion or if it's just, you know, eh, eh. Because I don't think I've ever actually used goat's milk soap. I have a, like a sample of the Zumbar that's goat's milk. I haven't used it because it smells like, not very good. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, moving on. Uh, oh, God, Butterfingers. Uh, deep Sea Goat's Milk it is. Mm, five ounce bar of soap. This is a medium grit because of the oatmeal that they use in here. So, let's see. What do I want to talk about first? So on the back of this, you know, they always got the docs notes, but unless it's specifically like a limited edition uh, soap, the note is always the same, okay? And I'm going to read it to you now. You've heard it before a billion times, especially if you watch my videos. The docs notes say, lather up this cold process soap and scrub down daily. Great for all skin types. And I just want to stop right there real quick because, <clears throat> you know, in, in, in all actuality, it is good for all skin types. But this is what I've noticed, especially like some of my friends and some of my friends' friends who have used uh, Dr. Squatch before and some of the, you know, more exfoliating ones. Sometimes the exfoliating ones can possibly irritate your skin a little bit more than just like your, your, your zero grit soaps. So just keep that in mind. If your skin's a little irritable very easily, Keep that in mind when you're uh, checking out your grit because uh, you more than likely, if you're kind of like sensitive to, you know, your sensitive skin, I would probably stick with a zero grit. But if you're like me, you enjoy a little bit of an exfoliation, you know, get your skin invigorated and woken up, then you'll be fine. But I just like to throw that out there because the gray for all skin types isn't always the case, Dr. Squatch. Ingredients list. Here we go. Take a peek at it if you want to. Pause the video and uh, go over it. But, you know, saponified oils of olive, sustainable oil, or sustainable palm, coconut, goat's milk, natural fragrance. Natural, of course. Shea butter, oatmeal, kaolin clay, and sea salt. Made from natural oils, no harsh chemicals, cold process, sustainably sourced. All the good buzzwords that people look for in all natural products. So that's good. Rich, smooth, and fresh, just like a Squatch Man should be. Oatmeal. Medium grit. Smells like smooth and fresh. Smells like smooth and fresh. Can't, I don't think I've ever smelled smooth and fresh before. 
I don't like that. Why can't you give me like an actual thing that it smells like? Very dumb. Anyway, let's take a peek at the actual bar, shall we? So at first, oh, okay. Now this is this is something different. I've never seen this before in a Dr. Squatch soap. Tell me, what, why is the edge rounded here? This is, I've never seen that before on a Dr. Squatch soap. That's very, very odd. So if you take a closer look, it looks like pepper jack cheese, uh, in my opinion, or maybe I'm just fat. But uh, with the oatmeal peeking through, you can kind of tell that it is uh, all natural because typically all natural soaps will have little floaters in there. And... Uh, that's exactly what it is. That's what's going to be exfoliating your skin. That's what's going to be, you know, giving you that medium grit, as they referred to it on the front as. So, that is, isn't that odd? I've never seen a, a, a rounded edge on a Dr. Squatch soap. Anyway, moving on. Let's talk about the texture of it. Number one, I feel like I'm holding like a bark of, like a, like, uh, what do you call it? Like a <laughs> white chocolate bark or something like that. It's very solid, I will say that. Very solid, not like some of the other scents. They're a little bit more squishy and wet to the touch. This is actually relatively dry, not super oily, uh, which, you know, may end up being better for me because I'm not a big fan of, like, real wet-feeling soaps. They don't really lather that good, I don't think. Okay, that is fantastic. The scent right here is absolutely fantastic. Huh. Okay, so, all right, let me just back up a little bit. So, um, hmm. So this almost has more like a sporty quality. It's almost like, um, I, I can almost see like a, I can almost smell like a hint of like that Fresh Falls kind of deal. A little bit of shea butter. Almost like a like a mm, like a like a refreshing Febreze type deal, but you know, good enough to wash your body with, not just spray it on you. You know what I'm saying? It smells so good. I was not expecting it to smell this good. This is the first time I've smelled it. Mmm. Okay. So, yeah, that's about as, I think, yeah, okay, so Fresh Falls, it's got, it's kind of got that Fresh Falls quality of like a, like a sporty kind of spicy scent, a uh, little bit of a, you know, like a, like a, what do you call it, like an air freshener, like a Febreze Hawaiian uh, ordeal, a little citrusy. Like a little, like a little zest at the, at the, at the end there. Wow. I'm actually relatively impressed. Deep, deep sea goat's milk. Okay. That, isn't that a weird combination anyway? Like, are you going to find a goat in the deep sea? Probably not. So the two combinations, whatever they combined here, which was, um... Goat's milk and sea salt. Anyway, yeah, so let's go over it one more time, okay? Damn it. Drop the box. Let's get let's start to finish. Deep sea goat's milk. In my opinion, it smells very sporty, almost like a like the fresh falls in a way. Uh, it does kind of have a zesty scent at the end, kind of like a uh, a citrusy deal. It kind of reminds me of um, like it more more or less smells like an Old Spice type deal. Maybe maybe a little bit a uh, little bit of like that sea salt scent, but not too much. Smells good. I like it. It smells refreshing. And it smells like the scent will stick. So, that's good. 
I can't wait to use it because like I said, goat's milk products that I've used in the past have always uh, done me right. So yeah, I like it. I'd give the scent probably a good 8 out of 10. It's probably one of the better smelling Dr. Squatch products out there right now, in my opinion. That smells really good. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, maybe consider giving me a thumbs up, okay? Consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. I don't know if I've already done this before in this video, but uh, it's absolutely free. If you don't find something on this channel that you like, then you can unsubscribe at any time. That's also, once again, free, and uh, it won't hurt my feelings. It just won't. Don't give a shit. Anyway, I guess I better get out there and uh, be a dad. I don't know. I will see you in the next video.